Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and these are all of the romance book series I need to finish. So there are many series I'm about to talk about. These are all romance series that are on my immediate TBR that I am actively trying to finish. There are many other book series that I have read that I haven't finished yet, but I either didn't like it, so I'm not gonna read the rest of the series, or I'm not really interested in reading them at the moment. Um, so these are ones that I am definitely wanting to finish sometime in the near future. There's too many of them to say, finish them soon. <laughs> Before we start this video, uh, I want you to leave a comment down below of which series, whenever you come across them, which series you think that I should finish first? Which series do you want me to finish first? So let's get into these books, shall we? First series is the Touch of Taboo series by Katie Robert. The first one being Your Dad Will Do. So I've read this book. I've read the second book, which is Gifting Me to His Best Friend. I still have to read um, My Dad's Best Friend, which is number three, and Seducing My Guardian, which is number four. And I believe book five comes out later this year, which is The Groom, The Maid of Honor, and The Runaway Bride. I really like this series. <laughs> They're fun taboo series by Katie Robert that I, I just, I wanna read more of her books. Um, I love this series. I've really liked the first two, so I, I'm excited to read the other ones. I don't think that these ones are on Kindle Limited, so I'm gonna have to purchase the other three. Next is the Hot and Hammered series by Tessa Bailey. And these are a contemporary romance series. Don't let the covers fool you for these. These ones get quite hot and heavy, quite hot and steamy. Um, the first one, Fix Her Up. Um, I really like this one. This is a brother's best friend romance and a fake dating romance. Then book two, I loved. I don't know why people didn't like this one. I love this one. This is A Marriage in Trouble um, about Rosie and I think his name is Damien. Um, and they go to like marriage counseling to uh, fix their marriage because Rosie wants to leave him and he has no idea why and they're trying to like fix their relationship. I love this one. This one is hot, yeah, hot. I don't know why, but um, whenever there's like a a phone scene in a book, in a romance book, that just like, it kills me. It kills me. I loved that scene in here. And so I still have to read book number three, which is Tools of Engagement. This one I believe is an age gap where the woman is older and I think the hero is like a single guardian or parent now um, and they're working together on a home renovation thing. So each book is kind of like revolving around this home renovation family. I've heard great things about book three, so I need to pick that one up very soon. I then need to finish the Rizdiverse series by Ruby Dixon. I am almost completed with this series. I have one more book to read that came out earlier this year. Um, so I have read, I have read books number point 25, which is the Aliens Mail Order Bride. Then there is book 0.5, which is pretty human. I really recommend reading book 2.5 and reading 0.5 before you get into like book one and book two, because it really sets up the rest of first world. Um, but these, oh, I forgot to even say, these are alien romance books, um, all centered around human women who have been abducted by evil aliens and kind of them all living or know of this planet called Rizda 3. It's a farming planet. You read about it in Pretty Human, this book, 0.5. There's this human woman that gets um, married to this alien man and he kind of like creates this planet for human refugees to go to since they can't return back to earth. Um, so that's what each book is centered around. And so I've read When She's Ready, which is book number one. This one is actually on the Read Me Romance podcast if you wanna to listen to that for free. The audiobook is free for you to listen to on the Read Me Romance podcast on your podcasting app. I've read book two, which is when she's married. Book number three, when she purrs. I just finished books four and five. Book number four is when she belongs, which I adored, my favorite in the series, five stars. Book number five is when she dances. So I still have to read book number six, which is when she's bold. We just met the heroine from this book in the previous book when she dances. So I'm so close to finishing the series. There is also a book, if you can see it on Goodreads called Rizdiverse Tales. This is just a bind up of the first uh, four books that I talked about in the series. So number point 25. Point five, book one and book two. That's just a bind up of that. Um, so that's not like an extra book. There's no extra content or new content in that. But um, I am almost done with this series. And I'm so excited to say that I have completed the series. Next, I have the Fallen Men series by Gianna Darling. 
now. Everyone has been raving about this series and I need to finally freaking finish it. I've only read one book from this series, okay? I've only read one book, but I wanna read the rest so badly. I'm kind of intimidated by them, but also not. I don't know, I don't know. Um, so I have read book number two, which is Welcome to the Dark Side. This is an age gap romance, huge age gap here. And it's a motorcycle club. This whole series is revolving around a motorcycle club. I really like MC romances. I need to read more of them for sure, but I really loved Welcome to the Dark Side a lot. So I wanna read the rest of the books. So I still have to read book number 0.5, which is Out of Sight. I haven't heard anybody talk about this one. So let me know your thoughts if you've read that one. Book number one in this series is Lessons in Corruption. I believe this one is a um, age gap student teacher romance where the woman is the teacher, um, which I'm kind of hesitant about reading that one because I don't know, student teacher romances aren't my favorite thing ever. They're kind of icky to me, a little bit icky to me just because I'm going to be a teacher. So yeah. Then we have Good Gone Bad, which is book number three. I think this one is like a cop. I think he's a cop in here. Book number four is After the Fall. I think this is centered around the same couple as book one, like they go back to their story for some reason, I don't know. People have been raving about the next two books. People have been loving book five, which is Inked and Lies. And I want to read Dead Men Walking, which is book six so badly. I feel like I'd love that one, but I really wanna read the other books in order before I get to this one. Cause I feel like I should have done that with Welcome to the Dark Side. But like, I just wanted to read about Daddy Zeus so bad, so. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> then we have the Planet of Desire series by um, Robin Lovett. I love this series and I feel like more people need to read it. This is an alien romance series and it all centers around um, this planet that has like toxins in the air that like if you're not constantly like doing it, you know, like doing it, uh, you'll be in immense pain. <laughs> so you have to like use people to find relief you know um so the first one which is toxic desire this is an enemies to lovers they hate each other one's a human woman one is an alien species and their species have been at war with each other for years um i've read that one i loved it i also really liked captive desire which is book two this one is a widower with a human woman the widower is an alien man and he's not supposed to fall for another person until like the mourning period is over and that has not happened yet and he feels the mating instinct for this human woman that he should hate um and so he's very confused and so i really liked that one as well i still have to read books number three and four book number three is stolen desire and book number four is forbidden desire um i think these other two books are a different alien species than the first two books because they look different they're blue I think they're the alien species that are native to this planet, like the aphrodisiac planet, you know? Um, so I love these books. I think they're so much fun. So I really wanna read the rest of them as soon as possible. I then have the Reluctant Royal series by Alyssa Cole. I've only read book one, which is A Princess in Theory. I think these are all royalty romances. This one was really fun. It's not my favorite romance, but I own the other two next books in this series and I've heard amazing things about this one and I've heard amazing things about the novellas a part of this series that I can't wait to read. So I still need to read A Duke by Default. I own this one. This one, I think the hero is a blacksmith if I'm not mistaken. And this is an age gap romance. Book number 2.5 is Once Ghosted, Twice Shy. People seem to really enjoy this one. I am super excited for book number 2.6, which is Can't Escape Love. I've been talking about this one all the time and I want to read it so bad but I have to read the other books in the series before I get to this one because like I don't want to spoil myself for the other couples and stuff like that um and then I do own book number three which is a prince on paper the people have a mixed a view on which ones are their favorite or which ones they like out of the series. Next, I have the Brooklyn Bruiser series by Serena Bowen. I really like this series and I've only read, I think like two and I like kind of jumped around. So I recently reread the first book in the series because I wanted to continue on with the series because uh, my audiobook service Libby has all of them for me to listen to. This is a hockey romance series. I love hockey romances, y'all. I love them. Um, so the first one is Rookie Move. Uh, this is a second chance romance. These two dated in high school and then they broke up and now they're seeing each other all over again because she works for the hockey team that he was just uh, recruited to. Book number two is Hard Hitter. I have not read that one yet. Book three is Pipe Dreams. Have not read that one. I have read book four, which is Brooklyn Air, because um, I heard that this one is 
like this one is super standalone um so you don't need to read the other books to understand this one at all you do like see the heroine of this book and the hero pop up in it pop up pop up in book one at some point the hero in this one he actually owns the brooklyn bruisers team and the heroine used to be his assistant um and i really liked this one i think it was super nerdy and sweet and cute cinnamon roll hero loved it so i have to read all the rest of these books in this series book number five is overnight sensation book six is super fan book seven is sure sure shot sure that sounds like a tongue twister to me sure shot <laughs> book number eight is bombshells and book number nine which will be coming out soon is shenanigans i don't know anything else about the rest of the series i only know about the two that i have read but um i plan on continuing on with the rest of the series um next month in august next we have the other world series by emma ham i love emma ham she's an amazing fantasy romance writer i have read the um first two and a half two and a half books uh this is a fantasy romance series uh the first two correlate with one another they go together and the other two are very standalone the only thing that connects this world these books together is that they're all like fairy tale retellings and they all take place in the same world but they don't necessarily have the same characters in them book one is heart of the fae beauty and the beast retelling dealing with fae and book number two veins of magic is um just like the continuation of that couple's story now when you get on to book three i own book three um which is bride of the sea this is a little mermaid retelling i think i got like 25 percent of the way through and i put it down i think because it was finals week um during my spring semester so i just haven't picked it back up yet but i really want to book number four is the faceless woman I forget which retelling this is, but it has to do with a witch. I don't remember the retelling, sorry. And then book five is The Raven's Ballad. I thought that this one was maybe a Swan Princess retelling, if I'm not mistaken. And book number six is Curse of the Troll. I also don't know the retelling of this one, unfortunately. But I, yeah, I have to read book numbers, uh, the rest of book number three, book four, book five, and book six. But I love Emma Ham, and I definitely want to read the rest of the series. I love fairy tale retellings, and I think Emma Ham does a great job with it. Next, we have the Spindle Cove series by Tessa Dare. I plan to finish this series in August like it needs to happen. I have read up to book number 4.5, and there are five books out, so like... I have one more book to read and so hopefully I'm going to be getting to it in August. This is a historical romance series and this all takes place in a little small town called Spindle Cove. This is also known as Spinster Cove. A lot of spinsters and um, just women who have kind of been like outcasted by society or about to go into society uh, live here. Um, and so the first book is about Susanna and her and her father created this town. And so each book is about one of the women, a part of Spindle Cove, finding a husband, even though she's technically a spinster. So I read An Eye to Surrender, book one, book number 1.5, Once Upon a Winter's Eve, book number two, A Week to be Wicked, book three, A Lady by Midnight, book 3.5, Beauty and the Blacksmith, book four, Any Duchess Will Do, and book number 4.5, Lord of Dashwood Missed Out. These are so much fun, y'all. Book number one isn't necessarily my favorite, but you have to like read that one to get into the rest of the series. Um, and so I still have to read Do You Want to Start a Scandal? So I have that book physically upstairs um, and I can't wait to get to it. I am so excited to finally read that one. I don't know what that one is about. I don't want to know what that one's about. I go into every single one of these books blind and I have a ball, like amazing time reading them like that. Then there is number 5.5 .5 on Goodreads here called Love Letters from a Lord, but it only has like 25 ratings. When does this come out? Okay, so the date for this release is 2022. This is all about... Sally Bright. I think I've heard her name. The name is familiar, but um, yeah, that one comes out in 2022. Then I have the Black Dagger Brotherhood series by J.R. Ward. This one is a long series. How many books are in this series? There are currently 19 books out, um, even though there's 21 in the works right now. So I have read up to book number, let's see. I read up to book number 17. I really do a series. This is a vampire romance series, paranormal romance that I really, really, really like. Um, so I've read book one, Dark Lover. Book two is Lover Eternal. Book three is Lover Awakened. Four is Lover Revealed. Book five is Lover Unbound. Book six is Lover Enshrined. I still have to read Father Mine, which is book number 6.5. Book number seven, I've read that one, Lover Avenged. Book number eight is Lover Mine, and that one is my 
favorite. I love this one. Book number nine is Lover Unleashed. Book 10, Lover Reborn. Book 11, Lover at Last. Book 12, The King. Book 13, The Shadows. Book 14, The Beast. Uh, book 15, The Chosen. Book 15.5, Dearest Ivy. Book 16, The Thief. Book 16.5, Prisoner of Night. And book number 17, The Savior. So I've read all of those. And so I still need to read Where Winter Finds You, which is 17.5, book 18, The Sinner, book 18.5, A Warm Heart in Winter, and book number 19, Lover Unveiled. There are two books that are currently being written. The book, num book number 20, which is Lover Arisen, will come out in 2022. And then book number 21, that'll come out in 2023, that I am so excited for, is called Lassiter. I am so excited for this, y'all. I'm so excited for that. That doesn't come out for two more flipping years. <laughs> Next, we have a fun one, which is So Over the Holiday series by Eric McLellan. McLellan? I don't know how to pronounce that. I am so sorry. Um, but I have only read one book in this series, but they all look so much fun that I need to read them. These are all contemporary, hot, steamy, um, LGBTQ plus romances that I want to read the rest of. Um, I think they're all centered also around like certain holidays. So I've read the 4th of July centered one. So book number one is called Stocking Stuffers. This is a Christmassy one, I think. Book two is Candy Hearts. I think this is a Valentine's one. And I think this one is a male male romance. And then I've read book three, which is Bottle Rocket. Um, this is the one centered around like kind of like the 4th of July. This is like a second chance romance. It's hot. And then book number four is Party Favors. Um, I think this one is uh, centered around New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. These sound super fun. I had so much fun reading book number three and they're all kind of like standalones. So then we have the Between Dawn and Dusk series by Jamie Schlosser. I have read one book in this series and I need to read the other ones. I actually own the prequel, which is Between Dawn and Dusk. Um, and I plan to be reading this one very soon, um, but I've read fully book one, which is The Fae King's Curse. Now the prequel is actually about the parents of the hero of book one. These are fantasy romance books dealing with fae and fae portals and everything. Really, really fun dealing with mates. Love it. Um, I loved book one. Um, and so I have to read book number two and book number three. Book number two is the fae king's dream. Um, he has like dream powers, really cool. And then book number three is the fae king's prize. And I think he's a shifter if I'm not mistaken, but like these all have super hot covers and are super hot in general. And I love fantasy romances and Jamie Schlosser does a great job with this world. Then we have the Wicked Villain series by Katie Robert. I talked about Katie Robert early in this video and I need to read the rest of the series too. I love this series and I don't know why I haven't continued on. Um, I think it's maybe because they're not on Kindle Unlimited. It's hard for me to justify buying eBooks at the moment. <laughs> So I just read off of Kindle Unlimited, but I want to get these someday. I need to, I need to. Um, so I've read up to book number four, a part of this series. And there are, I'm only going to be talking about the main books in the series. There are um, six main books in the series out right now, but there are little novellas and short stories also a part of this series that I have not read yet. So I've read book one, which is Desperate Measures. This is a Jasmine and Jafar retelling. Book number two is Learn My Lesson. This is a Hercules retelling. This is a romance between Meg, Hades, and Hercules. So three people. And then you have book three, which is A Worthy Opponent. This is a romance about Tinkerbell and Hook. This one's probably my favorite so far in the series or book number four is. Book number four is The Beast, and this is a romance between Belle, Gaston, and Beast. So another three couple. So I still have to read The Sea Witch, which is a romance between the Sea Witch, so Ursula, Ariel, and Eric. And I also have to read Queen Takes Rose, which is about Aurora and Maleficent. I love retellings, Disney retellings, and Katie Robert is just amazing with this series, I feel like. Then I have to read, of course, the rest of the Bergman Brothers series by Chloe Lee. I recently read book one, which is only when it's us, and I've only read book one, but I wanna read the rest of them so badly. These are romances, all centered around a family, the same family, the Bergman family. First one is a college romance. Um, they both love soccer, the hero is deaf. I also know that these books are quite diverse when it comes to disability representation, just representation in general. And so I love that. And I, that's one of the main reasons, one of the main reasons why I want to read the rest of the books. I need to read book two, which is on, 
always only you and the heroine in here has ra i'm very excited to read that one i need to read book three which is ever after always the hero has um severe anxiety and then book four is coming out later this year which is with you forever um and the cover for that one is just the cutest thing ever i think i really loved book one I need to read the rest of the series, so hopefully I will get to those very soon. I think I think my Libby app has all of them on audio for me. I then have to read the rest of the Wild Season series by Christina Lauren. The first book is Sweet Filthy Boy, and you meet all of the characters a part of the series in Sweet Filthy Boy. This series centers around three girlfriends, three guy friends. Um, the three girlfriends know each other. They go to Vegas one night after college to celebrate their college graduation and there they meet these three guys that are all best friends that all come from different places one's from france one's from canada and one is from i want to say australia i don't remember but anyway the two groups of people meet in vegas and they all get really drunk and they each get married to somebody else from the other group um and so the first book is about one of the couples deciding not to get their marriage annulled and to figure out if they can survive this marriage together and so i've read that one i've read book 1.5 which is like a little novella that takes place before book one um or in the midst of book one whichever one um and then i have read book two dirty rowdy thing um, this is about another couple. They get back together after getting their marriage and old. And then book number three, I have to read that one still, um, which is Dark Wild Night. And I think this one is a friend still ever since it's about one of the other couples again, um, who maybe get back together after getting their marriage and old. And then I haven't heard of book four, but book four is called Wicked Sexy Liar. So I don't know who that one's about. So I'm excited to learn about that one though. So yeah, I only have to read the last two in the series until I am completely caught up then i have the warriors of tadali i think that's how you pronounce it tadali tadali series by ava york and star huntress these are alien romance books i read the first book part of this series earlier this year and really 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 liked it if you like ice planet barbarians check this series out really fun i've only read book one which is rescued by her alien mate human women end up crash landing on this planet full of aliens and uh there's a language barrier here they live with the aliens, they find mates with the aliens. Really fun. I want to read book two, Ambushed by Her Alien Mate. These are all in Kindle Unlimited, by the way, I'm pretty sure. Um, book three, which is Shadowed by Her Alien Mate. Book four is Captured by Her Alien Mate. Book five is Buried with Her Alien Mate. Book six is Lost with Her Alien Mate. Book seven is Stolen from Her Alien Mate. And book eight is Protected by Her Alien Mate. Um, a bunch of alien mates in here. Um, I love mate books, I love alien books, so I feel like this is going to be a recipe for an amazing series to read the rest of. Then I have the Maiden Lane series by Elizabeth Hoyt. I have only read two books part of the series and that's book number seven and book number eight. So I have to go back and read the rest of the series. These are historical romances that I don't really know all that much about in general when it comes to the series because I didn't read book one. So I need to read book one, which is Wicked Intentions, book two, Notorious Pleasures, um, book three, Scandalous Desires, book four, Thief of Shadows, book five, Lord of Darkness, Book six, Duke of Midnight. I've read book seven, Darling Beast. This is a single parent romance and the heroine here is mute. And then I have read book number eight, Dearest Rogue, one of my favorites of the year. The heroine in here is blind and this is her romance with her bodyguard. Um, I have to read book nine, Sweetest Scoundrel. Book 10, Duke of Sin. Book 11, Duke of Pleasure. Book 12, uh, Duke of Desire. And I think that's it. There's a bunch of novellas in here, which will be really fun. So I have to read the rest of the series and I've heard great things about the other books too. Um, and I loved book seven and book eight. So I need to go back and read the rest of them. Then we have the Rebellious Desire series by Stacey Reed. There's only two books part of the series, but I still want to read the other one. Um, these are historical romances. The first one that I read and really enjoyed was Duchess by Day, Mistress by Night. I really enjoy this one. Historical romance, another single parent romance, and the hero is very broody and um, will do anything for the heroine. Loved it. Um, and then, so I want to read book number two, which is The Earl in My Bed. I love the cover for this. I need to read that one to complete the series. Then we have another historical romance series, which is the Montgomery's and Armstrong series by Maya Banks. Um, I love Never Seduce a Scott by Maya Banks. I feel like a lot of people love this one. I love this one. The heroine in here is deaf and she gets in an arranged marriage with one of her, feud the family who's feuding hers. Like she's put in this arranged marriage. Um, and I loved this one so much. And so I need to read the rest of the series. Book number two is Highlander Most Wanted. I love this cover <laughs> so much. And then book number three is Highland Ever After. 
but I don't think that we're gonna be getting this one. I think this one is never gonna be published if I'm correct. I don't think um, my banks works with this publisher anymore. Um, or I think, I don't remember why, but I think this one is like on pause indefinitely at the moment, which is so sad because I love this cover too. But um, it is what it is. I'll take what I can get. I loved Never Seen With Scott so much, so I really wanna read the next book in the series. Next, I want to read the Hades Hangman, Hades Hangman series by Tilly Cole. I've only read one book, but I loved it. So I need to read the rest. This is a motorcycle club series and um, I believe all of the books is talking about or dealing with um, a guy from the motorcycle club and their romance with one of the escaped women of this very horrible cult. And so that's kind of like the romance book for book one. Book one, the hero has a stutter. He only talks in sign um, and he falls for a heroine who escapes um, this horrible, disgusting cult. And um, so I really liked that one. And then book number two is Heart Recaptured. And I think that's like kind of like the same thing. Another guy from the motorcycle club falls for one of the women who um, was in the cult. Same thing, I think for I think for all the rest of them. So book three is Souls Unfractured. Book four is Deep Redemption. Book five is Damnable Grace. Book uh, six is Cru Crux, Crux Untamed. And then uh, book number seven is Darkness Embraced. And lastly, book number eight is called My Maddie. I really wanna read the rest of these books. I uh, really liked book one and I feel like I would love the rest of the series. So I need to get on that. Then we have the Mackenzie's and McBride series by um, Jennifer Ashley. I've only read the first two books in the series and I definitely wanna read the rest of them. I think there's 11 books in the series and there's a bunch of novellas, but 11 main books. So I've only read two out of the 11. So I read The Madness of Lordy and Mackenzie, five stars, love that one, great historical romance, one of my favorites of all time, and I feel like a bunch of people's favorites of all time. I've read book number two, which is Lady Isabella's Scandalous Marriage, which is a marriage in trouble romance, really liked that one too. So I need to read the rest. So I need to read book three, The Many Sins of Lord Cameron, book four, The Duke's Perfect Wife, um, book five, The Seduction of Elliot McBride, Book number six, The Wicked Deeds of Daniel Mackenzie. Book seven, Rules of a Proper Governess. Book eight, The Stolen Mackenzie Bride. Book nine, Alec Mackenzie's Art of Seduction. Book 10, The Devilish Lord Will. And book number 11, A Rogue Meets a Scandalous Lady. Now I've heard some mixed reviews on the later books in the series. So we'll see if I only read the main four, but um, I'm still wanting to read the rest of the series because I feel like Jennifer Ashley has an amazing, amazing writing style. Then we have the Isle of the Forgotten series by Tiffany Roberts. I know a lot of people love Dif Tiffany Roberts. They just came out, this is a husband wife duo, by the way. They just came out with that spider romance book called Ensnared. Um, people really like the Treasure of the Abyss, Kraken Tentacle romances. Not a lot of people know about this series and I loved book one. So I've only read book one, but I need to read the rest. There's only four or yeah, four books in the series. Um, I've read the first one, which is Make Me Burn. Um, each book takes place on this island where magic is uh, taken away. And it's kind of like a prison island where people who are bad go to this island and their magic is stripped from them because they did something rebellious or, hor or horrible or dangerous dangerous with their magic, so they're put on this island. So the first one is about a hero um, and he is a demon, but his powers are taken away when he goes to this island, he's forced to go on this island, and then he meets a siren who is like the only person on the whole entire island to have magical powers because she may or may not have been born on that island. Um, so it's a romance between the two of them. I loved book one, so I need to read the rest of the series. So book two is Make Me Hunger, Book 2.5 is Make Me Whole, and book number three is Make Me Yours. I really loved book one, and I love the covers of these, and I think they're all on Kindle Unlimited, so I need to get on this. And lastly, we have the Bride, the Bride Hunt series by Charlene Hartnady. I listened to the first two books in this series, and I really liked them. These are dragon shifter romances with royalty, magical power dragons, really fun. I liked them. I read the first two years ago when Audible Escape was still a thing. That's where I listened to them on. I hadn't had the chance to finish the rest of the series. I think these are all on Kindle Unlimited though. So I've read book one, which is Royal Dragon, book two, which is Water Dragon, and I need to read the rest of the series. So I need to read uh, book three, which is Dragon King, book four, which is Lightning Dragon, book 
five is Forbidden Dragon and book six is Dragon Prince. I really like these. I love Dragon Trip to Romances and this one was really fun. The first one was super duper fun. I like the first one more than the second one. So I need to finally get to read in the rest of these books because I love Dragon Shifters and I want to recommend more Dragon Shifter romances to y'all. So there you have it. Those are a lot of romance series that I really want to continue. I plan to hopefully be finishing some of them by the end of the year. Hopefully, don't count me on that. I think I might do like a a check-in video one day. Um, please let me know down below which series I need to finish first. Like, let me know which series you think I need to finish out of all of them. So thank you all so, so much for watching. Please let me know down below. Also, if you have read any of these books or if you plan to, or if you love them, which ones do you love? Um, but anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.